Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily and safely translate the text on your My Listing website. So translation could also mean just simply changing the wording. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're translating to a different language. The other thing too is I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to style um, text from within Local Translate and how that looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into it from the My Listing Club website. You can go up under uh, the menu here and go to resources, sort by guides, and then we're just gonna do a search for Loco in here. And this is the guide that we are gonna work from for this video. Uh, it's been com completely uh, revamped, rewritten from top to bottom. So this is what we're gonna use to follow, and I'm gonna move this over to my other screen. Um, this guide is available to anybody that is an active club member, okay? Okay, so first up is we got to get the, the local plugin installed. It is a free plugin. Um, I've, I've got it installed here. I've done nothing other than just install the plugin. Um, but if you want to view the details and, and read more about it, you can go out to the WordPress repository and, uh, and check it out. Okay. Very powerful stuff. Again, it's free. Um, if you haven't heard, if you've been in my listing for any amount of time and you haven't heard of local translate, I would be, I'd be shocked. Anyway, uh, so that's what we're going to use. Um, what else can I tell you here? Uh, as a U.S. based company, me, um, I, that's what I'm going to be referencing here. Uh, you know, the English language. Um, and when I say uh, translate here, what I'm going to be doing is changing the wording of some text, just you still staying within the uh, English language. Okay. Um, and I'm also approaching this as someone who's has never taken these ste taken the steps before. So. Um, this is like a brand new person that's just installed Local Translate as I have here. Okay, so first up, how to translate the My Listing theme. Local Translate works directly with the My Listing parent theme, even if you have the child theme installed. So that simply means if you simply means is if you have the child theme installed, um, the, the steps we're going to do here is to target the parent theme um, uh, anyway. So it's might be sound a little confusing. It's not. It's just saying it that loco has to work with the parent um, theme here, okay? All right, so uh, first up here is WordPress dashboard. And we go to loco translate, and we go to themes. We're just gonna go ahead, like I said, we're gonna choose the my listing parent theme, not the child. And I'll just show you kind of um, what that would look like if you did go in there. Uh, we see there's no English language. You would choose new language, create template, this is not what you're going to do, by the way. This is just a hypothetical. If you were to accidentally go through the child theme route, uh, create template, new language, select English. I'm going to choose custom here and start translating. I'm flying through this just because I want to show you uh, the wrong way to do this. And we see here, normally you would come in here, you would click sync, you know, to get those translation strings, the data updated. But we see here, there's just nothing to translate early here. So we know we're in the wrong spot. Okay, so let's go back to themes. This time let's click on my listing. And we see here at the top, uh, some translations have already been going on with the theme. So uh, lots of translation work going on. Nothing in here for, um, for English specifically. So let's go in here and click new language. Under choose a language, we're going to choose English and we're going to leave the custom option here. You do not want to choose system or author or you will lose your changes, um, your translations. OK, um, now there are ways um, to retain them. So what I'm assuming here is that you're going to keep the local translate plugin installed and activated at all times, because as soon as you Deactivate the plugin, your translations will not show on the front end. If you remove the plugin, obviously that's going to prevent them as well. The way that I look at it is you're probably never really done with translating. Um, that's one reason to keep this plugin just active at all times. And the other one is it's lightweight. It's not causing any performance hit on your website by having it. So uh, there's no reason just to keep it around, to not keep it around. There are ways if you want to get rid of the plugin, like you're hundred percent sure I don't need to translate anymore. I'm done. Um, you can uh, remove the plugin and retain it, but to do that, you have to do, um, you have to, 
you have to go through some steps to move your translation files to a, another location. So uh, I'm not going to cover that in this particular video, but um, it's not super hard to do. It's just it's another step you got to do. I'm just approaching this from the view that you're probably not going to want to remove this plugin. Okay. So like I said, you're just going to go with the default option, which is custom. We're going to click start translating. And there we go. We start, we see all kinds of data in here. Now this, we know we're in the right spot. Then before you do anything, you want to click sync. This is going to get you, uh, get your database synced up with the latest um, strings that you can from the, the theme that you can translate. Um, in this example, I'm going to show you how to change. Uh, let's look at let's duplicate this. I'm going to show you an example of how to change some text. So we're going to go to add listing here. Okay. So you've probably, you're probably familiar with this page It's the add listing page and you see this choose a package option here. We're going to change this text. Oh yeah, so let's go back into uh, local. Let's do a search for that chat, that text. Choose a package. Okay, so we're matching the case here. C is capitalized, P is capitalized. So we know we're in the right place, okay? Let's go back to loco. We've selected that text here. That text will appear here as the source. That's, that's this up here is the original, it's the source. Down here under English, this is what we wanna change the text to. So I'm just gonna say, Choose package. So I'm going to remove the letter A essentially. Okay. I'm going to click save. I'm going to go back here and refresh. Boom. Just like that, we have changed the text on this page that you otherwise would not have been able to get to. Um, there are there are ways with code snippets, but this is just the easiest way is go through loco. Okay. Um, so we, we've got that translation done. Let's look at Let's look at behind the scenes. This is the file system. So I use FileZilla. It's a free pro free program. I highly recommend everybody use it or something like it to always have access to your file system that's not part of your website. So I see a lot of people installing the file manager plugin. Uh, that's that's cool and convenient and everything, but you can save yourself a lot of um, headache by not having that plugin and coming in this way. Um, because if you ever lock yourself out of your site, you're going to need to get in through the file system this way. So this is the same thing. I mean, as you can see, it's just, it's a, it's a separate app. So it's just slightly less convenient, but it's still, it's easy to navigate the same way you would the file manager plugin. So I just recommend getting rid of that plugin, one less plugin to worry about. Okay. So we're talking about the themes here. Uh, so if we go into themes and we're, we're translating my listing. So if we go into there, we now see a languages folder. So if we go into that one, um, this is where our, our language files are going to be. So let's go back to, let's go back to um, let's see, our source our file info. Here we go. So it's going to tell us where the file is. So we see it's in, it's actually in loco themes. There we go. So loco themes. So I'm going to go back here. It's not actually in here. So that's, that's what ships with the theme. So we need to go back to loco, uh, let's see, plugins, loco translate languages. Oh, wait a minute. Where the heck is it? Public maybe. All right, let me go back here. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Languages loco. Okay. Languages loco themes. Sorry about the brain fart guys. Languages loco themes. So let's go all the way back out. WP content languages, loco themes. There we go. Sorry. So this is, this is where the files live here. Okay. That's why when you deactivate the plugin, remove it, that's those files go away. So you'd want to relocate these files if you really want to get rid of this plugin. Okay. Um, we're not translating the child. So these came in because I started to show you how you would do that the wrong way. So these, these could actually, these actually would not be present. It would just be these three here. And then there's a backup file, um, that's always going on there. Okay. So that's, I just wanted to show you that in the file system where, where that stuff is local will tell you exactly where it is, um, on this file info tab here. Okay. 
Now, let's, let me let me make sure I've got everything covered here uh, before I show you the, the styling. Yeah, okay, so let's look at some styling. So I'm gonna go back here, let's go to choose a, so this is the text we changed. It shows us over here in the right column, the translation, this is what, what it changed it to. We're gonna go back down here to this box and um, I'm just gonna add some quick styling to it. This is this is in the guide as well. So I'm just gonna actually copy this text. This is what I call the quick and dirty method. So, but I'm gonna change this text up color, otherwise it's not gonna appear. Let's just do um, 000 for black. Yep, that looks good. So this is the, what I call the quick and dirty method. This is applying, um, a good amount of, not a ton, I mean, it's actually very little in, in the scheme of things, a little amount of HTML directly into Loco. But I call this quick and dirty because I don't want people to go and add a ton of this in Loco Translate. It's just harder to manage. It's not optimized. It's not optimal. It's not best for performance. It's just harder to manage too. So, but if you've got a small amount to change, like maybe this is the only thing or you've got a few, it's fine. But um, I'm, not, I'm gonna show you a better way to do that here in a second, uh, if you have a lot of changes. Okay, so I'm just gonna save this. Let's go back over here. I'm gonna create a new, duplicate this tab so we can see the difference. So there we go. So what we've done is we've changed, we've changed the, the color, the font weight. We, the color was already a, a shade of black. Let's just we'll change that to something else here. Let's do red. Font weight is 800, size is 30. Let's say we want to bump that up to 50. Uh, there, let's try that out. There you go. So you can see how, how this changes things pretty quickly. Um, let's say you only wanted to change the word package. Uh, so I would take the word choose, take that out of this uh, this HTML span and put it at the beginning, so outside of our HTML. So choose space, and then now we're just going to design the package because package is what's wrapped in between those span tags. There we go. So you can see how you can draw attention to certain words, and you can even turn them into hyperlinks that link. You know, all kinds of crazy, crazy things you can do. But I just I would watch getting super crazy within here, okay? So now that's quick and dirty. I'm gonna show you a way to optimally do this with, with WP Code Box. So I'm gonna put choose back to where it was. Okay, and now instead of span style, I'm just gonna do, here, I'm gonna copy it from the guide actually here. There we go. So now I'm wrapping wrapping it in a span class. So I'm just, it's, you see it's much simpler to do. It's gonna be easier to manage. We're gonna optimally apply it to the site. So I've called the class add listing heading. So I'm just gonna copy that class ID uh, there and just click save. So when I click save here, we're gonna see there's nothing changed. It's just back to the way it was. So there we go. It's at the original and it's, there we go. So it's at the original. Now, what I would do is then um, using my highly recommended solution, WP Code Box, jump over into here. Um, if you wanna do it the most optimal way, just do a new snippet, CSS, we'll call this, call this a lot of things, we'd call it ad listing. Uh, where to run the snippet, this is the key for the optimization part. So instead of everywhere, we wanna choose custom, then we wanna click Conditional Builder, add a condition, choose page URL, contains, you could just do like add listing. This is one way to, there's a lot of ways to do this. You could actually say current post is add listing and just choose the page. Okay, that's one way to do it. There's multiple ways to do it. We're gonna click save and close for the condition. We're gonna drop our CSS in here or that, that selector so this is how you would write that out. That's the name of our CSS class, I should say. Now we're just gonna do that same, we're gonna copy that same HTML that we used before for the quick and dirty method. Okay, if you're familiar with CSS, this is gonna look you 
know, this is totally going to look familiar to you. It's, it's nothing really complex. Okay, um, so let me see. Let me clean this up really quick. It will be good to go. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. We've got our CSS. Let's click Save. Uh, let's enable this snippet. I'm going to change this again. Let's go. Let's go back to uh, 50 here. Let's go back to red. There we go. And save. Okay, so now we've optimally added our CSS using WP Codebox. We've applied that CSS only to the ad listing page. Um, so now, like, you just see how simple it is, right? Much simpler than writing all of that out in, in um, Loco. Another benefit is just the search capabilities in here. If you ever need to, like, you know, where did I set that? You can do a search and all from all of your snippets and find it. Um, you can copy and paste easier between snippets. Just, it's just better to centralize it all in this place, okay? So let's go ahead and refresh this page. There we go, we see our changes in there. Now you can always dive back in here and say, uh, you know, 50 is too big, I'm gonna do 40. Uh, I don't like red, I'm just gonna do uh, green. Um, you know, that sort of thing. So quickly jump in there, click save. Boom, there you go. Lots of crazy things you can do. And then another one, this isn't actually in the guide, but I'll show you really quick. So you could actually add stuff to here. So instead of just having choose a package, let's say you wanted to do we'll add a couple breaks here. So just a, a couple break line breaks. And then let's do um, uh, choose a package, upgrade, downgrade, cancel any time. Okay, and let's save that. Fresh, and there we go. So just like that, we've injected some text down there, and then you can style that. You can you can give this its own class. So we could say. Span class equals add listing subheading. Okay, and then finish our span there, in, in the span. There we go. So just like that, we've added another class to that subheading. Let's go back into WP Code Box. Let's go up here, let's just copy what's here. Now, instead of add listing heading, it's add listing subheading is our class. For this one, we're gonna change it, we'll change this, uh, we'll change the heading to, to black, which it already is, so you can actually take that out, but we'll, we'll just call it, we'll do red. So red there, we'll do green for the other, we'll do a, fo a smaller font size, and um, lowercase. All right, let's refresh and see what we got. Boom, there we go. So very cool stuff. Um, what else do I got for you guys? Uh, geeky notes from the field, I'll let you guys read that from the guide. It just explains um, where the files are kept, why they're kept there um, in the file system. It's more of like the geeky stuff. Now, if you wanna translate plugins, just really quickly, I'll show you that. It's the same, same process. Instead of going to themes, you go to plugins, you choose any of the plugins that are installed on the site, and you just repeat the process, okay, from the from the steps above. All right, guys, I uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, please click, click subscribe so you know when the next video comes out. Uh, it really helps, helps me and it means a lot. And uh, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.